Hey, it's Yolanda, and I'm back with another video, and this one is for um, a Thursday throwback challenge that Emma, and on YouTube she is Aguilar Place. I'll put her link down below to her channel, but um, during the week she does a bunch of different videos, and Thursdays are throwback challenge. And you need to um, just create, I believe it's always using an older cartridge. And so it's just, you need to create anything, card, scrapbook page, treat box, anything you'd like. And um, I think you, well, no, I don't think, I know you upload it, the picture to her blog. And then they do a random.org drawing for um, a prize. And this time she's giving away an Echo Park, a new paper line, and one of our stamps. So I was so totally inspired by her. Let me grab it. I already put it away. Sorry about that. I was so inspired by a card she did that I recreated it. I totally cased it. Um, a shaped card, and I'm just starting to make shaped cards. I just started to learn how to use my Gypsy, so I'm not like a 100% percent you know like really good at it but um, I was able to follow along with her and so I created this card um, by her inspiration and then for her challenge I was going to do another shaped card and um, upload that so anyways what we're going to be doing today and I'll show you the measurements on my gypsy really quick I have it right here all set and ready Okay, um, alrighty, the, um, the beehive is, um, 4.51, and that's, this is the card, I will, oh, I guess you can't really see, okay, so it's 4.51, and then I, I welded the two together, then that'll be my top layer. And this comes out of the, um, in my garden cartridge. Okay, then I took the B, and the B is 2.62. And then I did a layer for the inside of the card, since the card's a dark brown. And that is 3.88. And then I took a little fence out of the... Where does that come from? Paper doll dress up. Okay. I did that um, fence at one inch and I cut two of them. Not It's like a little picket fence. Okay. So that's what I've done. And we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. Turn it off before I forget. All right. So, um,. I'm using some basil cardstock and a piece of yellow paper that resembled a, to me, a honeycomb pattern. And this is out of the DCWV lemon stack. So we're just going to go ahead and fold our card. Okay. And then I'm going to glue this down on top. Before I do that, I want to distress just a little bit in here. And I'm using frayed burlap. I'll go around and do the outside once I get it glued down. So it'll be a little easier for me. Oh, you know what? I forgot I did um, distress... The honey, um, the I mean the hive, the little strips of the hive, just a little bit, so they stand out. The reason why I wanted to make this particular shaped card is because of the sentiment, which I'm going to show you. Um, you know, right when I'm ready to put it on, but when I bought it at Expo, I really, really liked it, and I knew exactly what I wanted, well, not that I wanted to do a shape card, but I knew exactly what I wanted to use it for. So, I'm, I'm not going to glue the whole entire thing down just yet, and I'll tell you why, 
I if you don't get it on there just right with this particular piece and you have to move it around it will tear which is what happened to me so that looks just about right okay I was making one earlier and see I actually got it a little bit off but there's not gonna oh hey got lucky um I had tape and there was no saving it what the heck I'm not getting it right on here Anyways, I try to take it off with the tape and um, tore my card, tore the top. So, okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and apply the rest of the glue and get this down. Yeah, like I said, I still need to practice with my shape cards. I know um, some people are just like super fast with their gypsy and I still like accidentally tap stuff and can't figure out like what I did and have to like just erase everything and start over but I'm learning so okay so we've got that down and we're gonna go ahead and just distress around the outside yeah, I'm way off on the back Go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to line up my fence. And I don't, this is where I can cut it off. I've already, like I said, I've made one before, so I know how big it'll be. Let's see, I can cut this one off right here. I had such a good time making these last couple cards. It just, I go through my little spurts. Like I can do a couple videos, two or three videos a week, and then life gets really crazy. And then I don't get to do anything for a couple more weeks. And then I, you know, go back on the um, making video thing. But um, what I'm going to do really quick, I'm just going to go off camera, stop the video, and I'm going to apply pop dots to the back of these which is what I had intended to do but I forgot because um, I just wanted to get to making the card but I don't want you to have to wait and watch me do that because that's boring so I'll be right back alrighty I'm back so I've applied foam um, tape to the back of my little fence and this is just going to go right here in front because this is my little beehive house Okay, and I should have peeled this off, but I didn't. It's the only thing I don't like when you do like little things like this that you need pop dots for. You have to cut them. It's not always the easiest thing to do. So I move this one over a little bit. It's not sticking. Okay. Well, that's going to go right there. And then... Um, Let's work on our bee, and we'll embellish the house in a minute. Okay, so I've cut out my bee, and I did the black body. We have our yellow stripes, and then I cut out the um, wings. Well, this is the whole entire body, but that black's going to cover in vellum so that it would look like wings, you know. And um, we're going to fancy her up. So let's go ahead and glue that down. Okay. Glue that down right on top. Alrighty, and then let me position these so I know I have them right before I start. This one goes up here, and the bigger one goes on the bottom. Okay. I 
I was going to ask everyone, a, well not everyone, but I was going to ask a question when I did this video for some advice on something and I can't remember what it was. I thought, oh, I'll ask when I do my video and I draw a blank. It was something crafty. Okay. Cute little butterfly. I've had this vellum a really long time. Actually, since I started stamping, I'm going to show you. It's from the from Denami Design. And, oh, it's stuck on the laptop. Um, came in a pack like this of 50 cards. And they're in Kent, Washington. You should check their stamps out. They're really nice. But um, they, they were like one of the first, not, you know, early on in my stamping hobby um, to do the coloring on the back of vellum and then laying it over like cardstock. And their vellums are really, really, really nice quality. So, okay, we've done that. Now let's go ahead and get all our little flowers down. Or, you know what? Let me do the bee first. Okay, so let me grab a couple of pop dots and get our bee down. And I hope my camera doesn't die. I'm having problems with my flip. I think it's time to get a new camera. So if it dies, video to be continued. Okay. And then we're going to put our B right here. Let's see. Right there. Okay. And then I want to do my little flying motion lines. And you can freehand those. I always like to do a little loop. Just gives that illusion that the bee was um, flying. I'll go over them again just to make them a little thicker. Okay. Alrighty. We have that and then We'll go ahead and add our flowers and then add our detail. So, I get my tweezers and add them right around here somewhere. Those aren't there. Oh, here they are. Okay. Oh, I did. I failed to mention. I punched out a bunch of little flowers with this small Stampin' Up flower punch. It's real small. And then I just put them in the middle of my hand and I took a stylus and then I just punched them down right in the middle just to give them that little um, shape. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glue where I know I want my flowers. Okay. And go ahead and add them. really add something these little tiny flowers sometimes you just need that little bit of something and a little tiny punch little flower punch will do the trick okay and let's get some over here Yeah. Okay, and then the green. And then my pink. Okay. So while I'm waiting just for a second for that to dry, um, we're going to tape down very carefully. I should have done this first. We're going to tape down, I cut out it inside to the beehive and the shadow, 
so you'd have something to write on. So let me just go ahead and tape that in. And give that scotch dry just a second to dry so that my little flowers don't fall off when we go to do the rest, when I go to do the rest on the inside. So I'm just going to place this very carefully right inside. That's perfect. Okay, we have our inside of our card. Okay. And then let's go ahead and do our sentiment. Actually, I want to save it for last. Darn it. But you know what? I can't because I have to let this dry. Okay. It The stamp is by um, Rubbernecker. And I bought this at Expo, and I fell in love with quite a few of them. They're all animal-themed. And this little stamp says, that's so darn cute. I love it. Let me show you right now. It says, does this stinger make my butt look big? <laughs> Isn't that cute? Okay, I want to show you how much I love the Gypsy. Like, this is the piece from the fence, but I had a perfect piece left over and you just really get to use up um, all of your scraps so I'm going to stamp and hopefully I stamp it perfectly right on there so let's ink it up with memento black okay and then keeping our fingers crossed we'll stamp it right there perfect does the stinger make my butt look big <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. So we're just going to go ahead and trim that out, leaving a little teensy wincy um, border because I'm going to mat it on some black. No, on some brown. Okay. Now I can throw this out. I've gotten the most use that I think I'm going to get out of it. <laughs> okay. And then I have a little strip of black. Let's see. It's a little too short, so let me see. Okay, I don't have any. Oh no, I was going to use brown. That's right. I forgot. Okay, I do have it. I'm just going to use brown. I forgot. I'm putting it on the inside of my card. And I know I could just have stamped it on the sentiment, uh, stamped that sentiment on the card, but um, it just looks a little plain in there, so I wanted to add. Um, just a little bit of something in there, you know. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put this down here. I always like to at least start off with one of the edges of my paper perfectly straight. And then just trim it. Okay, so we'll bring our oops, did I bump? Sorry. Bring our card back and go ahead and um, glue down our sentiment. Okay. And we're just going to put it right. Let's see if I can open it now. Right there inside. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Does the stinger make my butt look big? Okay. Now what I'm going to do is totally dress up my little bee. So we are going to take a uh, yellow stickles. I, did, I, I knew it was yellow, but I didn't know if it had a name. It's like a specific name. And I'm going to go ahead and do the um, yellow on the stripes. Please, camera, don't die on me. Let me finish this. Okay. And then I'm going to take a uh, black diamond and I'm going to do just a stinger. Let me grab a pin. Darn it. Let's see. I'm going to try to 
squeeze it on. Oh, it's barely coming out. Oh, come on, don't do this to me now. Watch, a big old blob's gonna shoot out. Okay, let me do this off camera. Because you know that's gonna happen. Gigantic blob's just gonna come right out and ruin my, my bee. Come on. My tummy's growling. Oh, you stinker. Good gravy. Okay, let's see. Try it again. Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, come on. <sighs> Darn it. Okay, I'm going to come right back. Let me fix this glue, okay? I'll be right yep. back. Just as I figured. It didn't do it on my project, of course, but I had a monkey with it, and this big, gigantic blob just came right out. Okay, so I'm going to stickle my stinger and stickle just my antenna, not, my, not the bee's head, which I guess I still could have. That would be really pretty, making my bee all glittery, huh? Okay. We'll do that, and then I am going to take my fave I've been using the heck out of, my diamond, and we're going to um, stickle the wings so that her wings are all sparkly. So who cares if her stinger makes her butt look big, right? She has pretty wings. <laughs> that was the joke of the day. I was in the kitchen making pancakes, and I'm like, Maddie, Maddie. Does my stinger make my butt look big? They couldn't stop laughing. Even the twins totally got it. They were reading the card. They thought it was cute. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and add glitter to the um, motion line here. And that's pretty. And then the black will show through. And then just real quick, little dabs. Um right in the center of my flowers. Okay, there we go. It was a little, I felt a little plain up here, but I think it's cute. I liked it, so there we go. A cute little shaped beehive with our pretty bee, and most important, does the stinger make my butt look big? So that will be my entry into uh, Emma's challenge. And I know the winner's picked by random.org, but keep your fingers crossed for me. I would love to win. <laughs> so thanks for watching another uh, gypsy-shaped card. And come back for more inspiration. Bye. Okay, I had to come back just really quick because I wanted to tell you again. You always want to make sure you stamp the back of your cards or you somehow put your own signature on there because um, it's handmade. You took all your work, your time, and your love. And so um, the recipient would want to know that you made it. So I have this really nice, another Cat's Life press stamp that I, I love. Uh, it says handmade card, and then it has a spot for buy. And then it says, this one-of-a-kind card was made especially for you. No amount of time or special paper is too good for you. You're worth it. Limited edition. So I stamped it, and it fits perfectly in a one and three-quarter inch punch. Punched it out. And I am just going to go ahead and glue that down right in the back of the card. I just want you to see how um, really nice it looks. And, and since um, my paper is dark, I had to, you know, had to, had to do it that way. But um, I would have punched it out of something anyways. And we'll just go ahead and slap that down right in the middle. And it would be cute, like, punch out one of these little flowers and glue it, you know, flat on there. It doesn't have to be a dimensional. But isn't that cute? Look at that. Handmade card. And uh, there you go. Oh, did I get glue? I sure did. Anyways, I just didn't want to forget that little detail. So that's uh, Cat's Like Press number HC899. No, no, no. I think that might be their number. But if you just go on there, yeah, handmade card. HC899. If you just go on their website, you can find it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.